Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today for you guys, I just have a short unboxing slash review of a Nike ID Air Force One that was limited. For me, these are one of the hardest Nike IDs I've ever tried to make and get. For some reason, I think because of COVID and everything, production rates are very slow right now for Nike. So Nike ID has like a cap amount of orders per day. So with this special, um, Nike ID collaboration, I guess is the word for it. Uh, only a certain amount of orders could go through and you just had to hopefully get lucky on a restock and be able to purchase them and get your size and everything. So for these, they are an Air Force One Pendleton Nike ID. They had all different types of materials and colors. They had everything from suede to leather, white, chili red, obsidian blue they had a lot of random colors that you don't really see nowadays and too often on nike bayous some of you might recognize it as nike ids they did recently change it by nike bayous and i think it's pretty cool uh the boxes are definitely a lot cooler than what they used to be back then but let's just get right into the shoe and the box so as you can see it's just a white box has a slide front it says nike by you on the front with a swoosh it says swoosh on the back it has a little trademark logo and then a bunch of logos on the bottom so for me i got these in a size 13 because you do get to pick your size uh, i just went with a safe size 13 i get it in most every shoe i've purchased but let's get right into the shoe so i can get you this review another thing that's really cool is it comes with this really cool nike paper that says one of one and just has all these different designs and patterns all over it that's one of the best parts for me when it comes to nike by you pairs this is my second pair that i have made if you want to see the other pair drop it down in the comments and i'll definitely make a video on them to show you guys but as you can see, these are the Nike ID Pendleton Air Force Ones. So for me, this wasn't really my first design concept I wanted to do. I wanted to do a lighter blue where the navy is, but sadly that material sold out very fast and I was unable to get it. So I think these are pretty good for what I could have done with the different materials that were left at the time. But let's just go over the shoe. So for me, I went with a darker tone because like I said in previous videos, I don't really like white outsoles. So I did go with the navy blue to match the navy blue quarter panel and the navy blue stripe on the back, which is one of my favorite parts because you don't usually get to customize these separately all by themselves on Nike by you. But for this shoe, they did. Getting more into the shoe, we have the oatmeal leather tongue and the oatmeal laces with the oatmeal back tab. That just say Nike Air. You, I don't believe you could have customized that. Normally on just the regular pairs, you can do three letters in place of the Air, which is really cool. You can put your initials or a six letter, a six letter word if you wanna put them on both sides. Uh, you didn't get to change the liner in these. That was one thing I was kind of, I wouldn't say upset about, but kind of discouraging. But I believe that is a black liner. It's either black or brown. I'm having a hard time telling since I am colorblind and you wouldn't know that from my previous videos. If you've gotten a chance to take a look at them, if you haven't, please go check out the other videos. It's got everything from reviews to what's in my collection to on foot looks and everything else. So that'd be great if you could check out some other videos I've created and put out there. So also as you get into the shoe, I went with the dark Pendleton pattern on the toe box with the light Pendleton pattern on the toe, I guess, cap. I think just the contrast is pretty good. And then I did the gray Pendleton material near the eye stays and the foxing, I believe is what it's called. Just because I didn't want to overdo the pattern and since I did navy blue quarter panels, I wanted to do the light Pendleton print for the swoosh to kind of brighten it up a little bit. 
And that was my main goal was because of the prints being so dark and doing a navy outsole and a navy quarter panel, I wanted to kind of brighten up the shoe a little bit. So I did the oatmeal colors on the front and the back just to give it a little more lightness. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this whole shoe, it comes with this leather keychain slash, um, I guess it's, it's not really a keychain, but it's just a little tag that came with the shoe, which I think is an amazing detail. And it has this Nike and Mountain design. And then you could get your initials stitched on the back or any three letters you wanted. Another really cool part is it has the Pendleton tag on the back there off the swoosh. But for me, these were a must cop. It's one of those limited edition shoes that they probably won't ever come out with again. They were kind of steep in price. They were 140, customized them and purchased them. So 147 after tax and you get free shipping if you're a Nike member, which I recommend doing. Um, saves you a lot of money when it comes down to shipping and shipping's a big thing that can deter a lot of people from purchasing items, especially myself. If shipping's too expensive, I usually don't purchase the item because it's not really worth it to me. But that's just my opinion. But these were 147 something after tax. And I believe the normal Nike ID custom is 120 or 130. And that's just regular leather materials. So I think for what you're getting quality wise and material wise, it's definitely worth the $10 to $20 upcharge. And I'm very happy with how these came out. I think they're one of the best Nike IDs that Nike's done this year. And I believe they still have them at the moment on the website. Um, I'm not sure what materials and colors they have left. I know for certain parts of the shoe, you can't get this pattern, but then you can get this one. It's, it's very weird what materials they have left. You can definitely make a very cool shoe and design out of these with what's left. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I enjoy showing you these because it's something I created and something that a lot of people won't have in the future unless you did create them on Nike, which is one of like the, I guess it's a really cool feeling knowing that you could possibly be the only one with this shoe in the world, unless someone else does the same design, which there is a slim chance, but I think they're an awesome shoe. I recommend customizing a pair because it is a really good deal for what you're getting and quality is really good on these. And for under $150, it's a great, great shoe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like, if you enjoyed watching the video. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a great day. Peace.